Hello my friends, how you doing? Here we go, another little tip. This one here is more for thinking about productivity. Um, if you're like me and the more that I'm working remotely, it seems to be the more tabs I have going on, the more projects I have like in development. Um, I'm having a harder time closing things out and really just expanding my whole repertoire because I never know when I might need it, whether I'm working with teachers or for you with students or you've got your, your, your collaboration project with your colleagues and things like that. But if you're like me, I also like music. I also like to have things playing when I'm working. It just helps me kind of get through this. And so one of the things that's in the latest Chrome update, uh, your Chrome browser, if you have your browser updated, is there is this cool little icon in the upper right-hand corner that you may or may not have noticed. It has a little music icon and these three bars. What this one is going to allow you to do is a couple things. Um, so let's take yesterday. I had several meetings. I had several calls, and I would have short little gaps where I could get some work in. And so what I have is I always have a couple music tabs open, depending on, on my mood and what I need to keep focused. But then I have all my other work tabs sitting up here as well. So a couple things with this um, for you to think about. Um, one, you need to check to make sure that your Chrome browser is all the way updated. So if you have a little arrow where I have my three dots up here uh, pointing up, you're in need of an update. Um, and the icon should be right here. If for some reason you're not seeing this music icon, it's a couple things. One, you don't have any tabs that actually have music or sound playing. Um, number two, you can turn your icons on. And so what you do here is you would go in your browser and you would go to Chrome backslash backslash flag. So Chrome uh, colon backslash backslash flags. This is going to show you all the things that Google's working on and experiments. And you don't need to mess around with a whole lot of this. Um, but to find this icon, you can type in um, global media controls is what you're looking for. So for me, on uh, my, my one Mac, it was on there. And this Mac that I'm recording on, I didn't have, the, the music icon wasn't showing for whatever reason. So here, this is the one that we're looking for, this global media controls of being able to control it in the user interface in the toolbar. And you would just go over here and just make sure this is set to enabled. Um, as this rolls out, it'll just automatically happen. Um, and you might also want to do this picture picture one because it's pretty cool as well. And then, I don't know, if you use CAS, great. If not, you don't, don't need to worry about that one. Um, but the controls here. So Chrome colon backslash backslash flags. Get those enabled if you don't see the icon already in your browser. Now, once you're in, I'm just going to have this here. Um, a couple things. So this is uh, this lo-fi hop live radio that I, I love listening to. It keeps me focused. One of the cool things that has nothing to do with this update, but you know you can right-click any tab and you can mute it right on the thing. So um, yesterday, actually, I was clicking through doing some work and these ads kept popping up on this website, but I needed it for the work that we were doing. So I can just right-click on any tab and I can click mute site and it will turn the sound off so um, if I hit play here you can't hear it because I have it muted you can see the the speaker icon it's probably hard for you to see on your screen has the the mute you know the cross line through and I can always just right click that and unmute it whatever I want to so it plays but here's the other cool thing um, once I have this playing I can go here to this music icon and I can do a couple of things. I can control it from this dash. And if I didn't want to do that, I could also do picture in picture, which is going to put it down here in this corner for me. So as I'm doing other work and I'm moving through, I can have this down here. Now this works for video and YouTube and things like that. So if I need to maybe just listen to a call or recording, but I need to do other work, I can do that. I can hit this play button. You can see it moving right there. You know that I can I can go here, do my other work, and if I ever want to close it out, I just close it out. And you know you have picture of picture going on on your browser because I can see up here my tab, this blue icon, lets me know that this tab here is picture in picture. Um, and it tells me this tab is playing in picture in picture mode. So I just like this little feature um, because it just makes life a lot easier for controlling and the work and that we get more tabs going on on our browsers and things like that, um, we can really start to just, it just gets cluttered. 
So this allows me to directly just control stuff right from there or down in that picture of picture mode and I'm set to go. So like I said, not earth shattering. It's just an update that you may or may not be aware of that can make your life a little bit easier as you're working remotely trying to figure things out and maybe you don't want music playing and things like that uh, for you to share. So, hey, let me know what you think. More importantly, uh, let me know what it is that you listen to when you work. What's your productivity playlist, your jam, your place to go? I will link my three. I've got three up here. I will link that uh, in the notes for you to check out, but I would love to hear from you. Let's uh, let, let's curate some awesome um, soundtracks to uh, get ourselves through these work periods, but it can be a little hard to focus these days. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.